assalamu alaikum student today we are going to study reproductive system in hibiscus flower we mainly use hibiscus flower to study reproductive system in plant because it has four floral floral whorls such as calyx corolla androecium and gynoecium it is a bisexual flower as it contains androecium and gynoecium both let us first see requirement of this practical we required a hibiscus flower forcep needle blade and watch glass now let us dissect the hibiscus flower first we will see the outermost whorl of a flower here you can see outermost whorl of a flower there is a green leaf like structure which are present this free leaf like structure are known as epicalyx and the inner large leaf like structure which is known as calyx first of all we will remove the outer whorl of a flower so to remove outer whorl of a flower we will simply remove it with the help of hand here we are removing a calyx for uh, epicalyx and we have to count how many epicalyx are there so here in this flower how many epicalyx are there there are total 6 epicalyx now we have to focus on the second part second part which is slightly larger as compared to epicalyx this is known as calyx to remove calyx we have to carefully cut with the help of blade now we have to remove it from base after removing this calyx here we have removed calyx now we have to see structure of calyx here you can see there are how many tips in this calyx one 2 3 4 and 5 tips are there and what is the color of calyx color of calyx is green function of calyx is to protect inner whorl now which are the inner whorls here you can see these petals and androecium and gynoecium now we have to study the next part of a flower we will keep this calyx and epicalyx aside and then we will move to the next part next part are what petals petals are also be known as what corolla okay here how many petals are there there are total five petals in this flower we have to remove this petals and we have to see their structure and their function okay after removing these petals carefully we have to note their color as well as their number how many petals or how many corollas are here there are total 5 petals and here the color of petals are red in color dark red color petals are there okay this red petals calyx and epicalyx together form what together it will form the outer whorl of a flower and the function of this outer whorl of a flower is to protect inner important part which are the inner part of a flower this one is the androecium and a gynoecium now let us remove particular part of a flower okay on this part of a flower what we see we see there are yellow color dots okay these yellow color dots are nothing but anther and these anthers are attached with this stalk like part with a filament so here you can see there are filament and a anther which is present this filament and anther together known as what androecium so let us first remove this androecium part in a watch glass now after removing this androecium part next part of our flower that remain here is gynoecium here in a gynoecium there are three parts which are included in a gynoecium so here you can see this one is anther and filament okay 
and this anther and filament is a part of androsium. Now here, here we have ovary, style and these are the stigmas. Okay. So what we need to do here, we have to with the help of needle, we will remove the outer covering. Now after we will remove the outer covering, inside part, what is there inside? There is a tube like structure inside. Okay, that tube like structure inside is known as style. We have to be careful while removing this covering. Okay, now here we have removed this covering over ovary and style. And finally, the final whorl of a flower is out. This one is gynosium. Okay, now in gynosium, here you can see the tip of a gynosium is stigma. Okay, there is a tube-like part which joins stigma and ovary known as style. And here... This bulgy part, solid part, which is known as the ovary. Now, here you can see all the parts of a flower. This green, large leaf like structure is known as calyx. Then, this free leaf like structure, which is known as epicalyx. Okay, this bright red color petals are also be known as corolla. This petals, calyx and epicalyx combinedly form outer whorl of a flower. And inside whorl of a flower are which one? Androsium and gynosium. Function of this is to protect inner whorl of a flower. Okay, now this This is a part of androsium. What you see here in a part of androsium, there are yellow color dots which are a bean shaped structure known as anther and even you can see the stalk which is known as the filament. Anther and filament together form stamen which is a part of androsium. Androsium produces male gametes. What is present in anther? Male gametes are present. So this is a male reproductive part of a flower. Then here what we have, here have gynosium. In gynosium, there are three parts. First, first part of a gynosium that you see here, this one, a colorful part which is known as stigma. How many stigmas are here? We can count 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. There is a tube-like structure which joins stigma and the base, base of a andro gynosium which is known as style. And here there is a bulgy part, this swollen part, bulgy part, which is known as the ovary. Inside this, if we will open it, here inside this ovary, here we can see there are number of ovaries, ovules are present. These are the ovaries. So here you can see these are the ovaries which produces ovum. Okay. So this is female reproductive part. This is male reproductive part. This is, these are the petals and this one is calyx. Thank you everyone.